You can also sync the iBobber to an Android phone or device that uses Bluetooth Smart 4.0 or later. Make sure you download the iBobber app from the Google Play Store before getting started. If you cannot download from the App Store, this means that your device probably doesn't have the minimum Bluetooth version required. Once you do have the app downloaded, syncing your new iBobber to your Android device can be done in just a few simple steps. First, make sure your iBobber is fully charged, like this one here. Second, make sure your Bluetooth is turned on. This will bring up the Bluetooth pairing screen. You will not need this screen though, since iBobber syncs directly through the app. You can either just press cancel here like I have, or if your device forces you to enter a code when in this screen at any point, please try the codes suggested in the manual, such as 1111, or 0000. After your iBobber is done charging, remove it from the charger base. It will flash green as it turns on and will stay on for about 10 minutes. You can also place it into water and it will stay on indefinitely, generally between 10 to 20 hours depending on use. In either case, that flash means the iBobber is ready to be synced. For ease, I'll use this bowl of water here. From the iBobber home screen, tap the settings icon and then tap Bluetooth Sync to begin syncing the iBobber with your phone. Once the Android phone recognizes the iBobber, check the box like this. The nickname of the device you chose during registration will now show up here in the device list. When the connection is successfully made, the sonar icon here will turn orange and the iBobber will flash green again. If you don't see that green flash but want to check the connection, simply tap the LED beacon on the fish finding screen. It should light up. And that's about it. You're ready to use your new iBobber. Simply tap either the fish finding icon or the waterbed mapping icon depending on which one you want to use. Now go out there and have fun with your new iBobber.